Morning folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. I'm out on the farm for the second morning in a row here, uh, trying to get a doe during late muzzleloader. I'm actually gonna sit on the ground this morning up against an apple tree and some brush uh, in between a bedding area and some buckwheat that the deer have been feeding off of. So I'm gonna try and get in here as quietly as is possible, but man, the snow's frozen this morning. I know I'm probably gonna bust some deer getting in, but I'm gonna get in, get set up, plan on sitting until about 9.30 or 10 this morning and hope I catch some doe moving back and forth in between the bedding and the food areas. Success. I knew if I waited here long enough this morning, I was going to have an opportunity to be able to shoot a doe. I'm standing on the ground here this morning. I've got my camera arm on a tree. And uh, first thing this morning, I had a doe come in and I realized that my camera was too low. So I had to squat down below a little bit of a ridge and uh, work my camera strap back up to a height that would be uh, high enough to be able to get video of her. I wasn't going to shoot without having it on camera. And uh, as I stood back up, she had me pinned. She knew I was there. She got real kind of nervous and jerky. And I was able to get my gun up, but I just didn't have a real clear shot. I just wasn't comfortable with it. And the last thing I wanted to do is take a poor shot, especially this late in the season. So I opted not to shoot. Remainder of the morning, I had three deer that winded me in the buckwheat field that's over beside me. And I uh, had several deer come in on the south facing slope as the snow's melting or feeding on, off grass, but just not an opportunity to take a shot. And uh, about 10 o'clock, 10.15, uh, my camera, my iPhone died. And uh, about 10 minutes later, I saw three or four deer begin to work up the slope that I was on about 120 yards away. I got my camera turned around from where it was faced because I had it facing on a too small uh, doe that were better at about 40 yards from me. And uh, as I'm watching these deer work up this slope, uh, something catches my eye to the right and I look and about 60 yards away, there's a doe that's walking right at me. So I went ahead and got myself all set, got my gun up on my monopod, get my camera ready. And uh, there's a barn that's up to the right and she was not in line with the barn, but just to be comfortable, I wanted to make sure she got downhill just a little bit. I waited until she got downhill, put my crosshairs on that front shoulder, took a deep breath, took my time and shot, and uh, I saw her run about 80 yards and go down. So pretty excited. You know, it's been a real successful season. Uh, I've been very fortunate this fall. I got a buck and a doe during archery. Uh, I got a seven point on the uh, second day of gun in New York State here with my rifle. Uh, I did a stalk on public land and shot a doe with my trusty old Mossberg 12 gauge shotgun and today I was able to finish off the season during late muzzleloader and uh, use a different weapon, muzzleloader this time in bagged dough. So great season, enjoyed all of it. Hope you guys enjoy the stories. It's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Hope you guys have a great day. See you next season. Woo! What a beautiful day to end my 2023 deer hunting season. Hey Katie, sorry about the heart, but I shot it right through the heart, so I can't bring that home to eat.